You know why uh, there's no voter fraud, Emma? Why? You know why they're not finding any voter fraud? Well, Matt Gates has the reason why. The reason why there's no voter fraud is because there were not preventative measures to stop voter fraud. Therefore, you don't know about the voter fraud. That's why they haven't found it. Proof of its existence is that they have not found it. Let's hear Matt Gates explain. Not enough to change the outcome of the 2020 presidential election. Joining me now is Florida Republican <sighs> Congressman Matt Gates. What do you think about what the Justice Department just said, uh, Congressman? I think the Department of Justice has a lot of egg on their face for having not discovered a lot of this fraud as it was occurring. I think the Department of Justice should have intervened and opposed the consent decree in the state of Georgia that reduced the amount of rejected ballots as a consequence of a signature match not occurring. There were places where we had dedicated FBI officials and Department of Justice officials in my home state of Florida, ensuring that there was not fraud in the registration process, in the ballot harvesting process. But I think we should have seen the Civil Rights Division a lot more more aggressive to stop the ballot harvesting in the first place. David, as you know, this is very hard to find, prove, and obtain relief on after the fact because so many of the ballots get commingled. Right. Well, and they were even talking about washing these Dominion uh, voting machines clean. Thank goodness uh, a court put a uh, stop to that, though we don't know how many of the machines were washed. Uh, let me ask about the dust. So if I, if I get this straight, you cannot... The only evidence of the fraud exists in the actual act of the, because it doesn't, the fraud doesn't exist once it's happened, according to him. There's no evidence of it, but you can't, and it doesn't exist as it's the ballots being cast. You can only, the fraud exists only at the time before you stop the fraud from happening. Right, right. It's like, uh. There's what's no the analogy. Of, what's the kind of energy that that it you know you're, it's not moving, but it's not kinetic energy. Static. Static energy. That kind of the, the fraud's always there, but it may not be in motion. But it's still fraud. Once it moves in motion, it's it it's impossible to prove that it that it happened. Right. Well, I mean, so he's. What is it about the ballot that that once it commingles, you can't tell whether it's fraudulent or not? I don't know. I guess it gets too messy. It gets too messed up. It honestly sounds like they're concerned about miscegenation or something. Like that word of commingled, it's like race mixing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like and what, it's ironic that it's he ballots. The civil rights division they're chameleon, of the DOJ. Chameleon ballots. Right. Once they commingle, they take on the look of the other ballots. And he, so he's basically accusing, without saying his name, Barr of not doing anything preemptively about all the fraud that was going to happen that Trump said was going to cause him to lose the election if he lost the election. But if he won, then there was no fraud whatsoever, right? But that's not even true because Bill Barr did an unprecedented action where he signaled and directed the U.S. attorneys to basically take into consideration allegations of any voter fraud pretty much at all before the vote was certified, which is completely against protocol. So there was preemptive action taken. That's right. Gates just wants to pretend that didn't happen so that they can still think, you know, Trump was installed by Hugo Chavez. What is fascinating, though, is these federal agencies. I mean, Biden, excuse me. These federal agencies performed so much better, according to Gates. I mean, in states that Trump won. God, the, Chavez is just a genius. He's a genius. I he mean, is. you go Chavez, like this guy. He galaxy brains so much that beyond the grave, his tentacles are still being felt in this election. Oh, I'm sorry. Mysterious ways. You think he's dead? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like you, Jesus, I guess he you lives within us b- all. Bought that line and sinker, didn't you, Emma? <sighs> I did. I guess so. Oh, the old Hugo Chavez is dead line. Well, that's good. It's I good that you believe that. It. I say it every show. I mention Chavez because I can't get over Sidney Powell um, talking about Hugo <laughs> Chavez being intimately involved in Dominion voting machines beyond the grave. As that uh, guy on uh, Fox Business News, what was his name? Not Gates, but the other guy. Um, he mentioned the uh, servers, the servers. They haven't been wiped, the mm-hmm. Dominion servers. Um, the uh, military <laughs> had to put out a statement, the Army did, saying that um, 
despite what a retired Air Force three-star general uh, claimed, incidentally, that guy, uh, it's McNerney, I guess his name, he was a former a Fox News contributor uh, because, uh, former because apparently he said torture worked on McCain and that right, McCain right, was, right. Um, loser. Uh, yeah, there was some problem that they, they booted him from. But, um, oh, he also got the job on Fox because he was pushing the fact that Barack Obama was uh, not born in this uh, country. Cool. And that um, all Muslim men should be strip shirts searched at airports. That was that was that was what got him the job. It was the McCain stuff that got him fired. Anyways, he's the one who came out and said that the um, uh, the 305 military intelligence battalion of the Kraken, I think uh, Sidney Powell referred to them, mm-hmm. that went in into Germany and secured the servers that uh, because they had to go in and get the servers from the Germans yeah. who were because um, the, the votes ran through the servers there, uh, which was also part of the CIA op to go get those servers. Um, and of course, some U.S. military were hurt there. Apparently, the army came out and said, um, yeah, that's not true. That allegation is false. It is not true. Uh, it is a entry level training intel battalion that's made up of army privates straight out of basic training or still training for their first military jobs. So um, I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's who you would send in. Yeah, uh, obviously, but, as agents of Cuba, you know, the, they're the freshest face ones there. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I mixed it up. It's yeah, too convoluted. But there it is. So uh, everybody's getting in on the picture saying that Sidney Powell is a lunatic. Uh, but that's not going to stop anything. That almost like proves that she's not. It's the same theory with the um, with the uh, fraudulent ballots. If the the absence of proof is proof that it exists, yeah. So there you have.